Hello, today I'm coming to you to make a quick video on how to make Vietnamese spring rolls. Let's start with the ingredients that I'm going to use today. I have here some, all of these vegetables, they've been washed and dried. I have some cilantro, some <clears throat> red onion, some sliced cucumbers, some thinly sliced red cabbage, and some shredded carrot. Also, I have here some lettuce leaves. I've washed and dried them. And this is rice noodles. So these come in a package dry. And I'm sorry I don't have the original packaging, but this is what it looks like. So basically what I do is I boil some water, put a little salt in there, and then I drop these patties in there and let them sit for two or three minutes. Um, in that time, I would take a fork or something and go around just to see how it's looking because what you really want is for it to be pliable like this. So once three or four minutes go by, uh, you strain all the water off and then you shock it with some cold water. And then what I do is I place it on some paper towels just to drain off all the excess. Okay, here I have some shrimp that I steamed. Basically, I just washed it with some lime and some water. And then I seasoned it with this. This is what I like to put in there. And some black pepper. And the other thing we need, these are the wrappers for the spring rolls. Um, it'll say Vietnamese rice paper. Uh, they come in different sizes. The one I have here is a 13 centimeter size. Uh, so that's what I'll be using. Also for the sauce, I have some garlic that I've crushed up here. And to that, what I did was I added the tiny bit of liquid that was left from the shrimp. I dumped that in there. I also put some lime juice in here. And then I'm going to add some fish sauce. And so I have three garlic cloves in here, just a squeeze of lime. And for the fish sauce, I would say I'll put a quarter cup of fish sauce and a couple squirts of hoisin sauce. I'm also going to put some uh, red chili powder just for a little kick. Okay, the other thing we're gonna need is a container of some sort with just lukewarm water in it and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that so we'll get our wrapper now what you want to do is dunk it in the water let's go around like this don't leave it in there too long you just want to make it make sure every surface is, has been moistened then you lay it down on your surface let me move this back so you can see better all right, that looks pretty good. So you lay this down on your surface and you start with some lettuce, like that. Okay, so we put some lettuce and then you start layering, layering in your vegetables that you like. Okay, let's add some of this. And let's... Add some cilantro, a little bit of onion. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is, oh, so the shrimp. What I did was you slice the shrimp down the side like this so you have two pieces. So it came like this, but I sliced it in the middle to like fillet it sort of. So what you wanna do is on this side of your wrapper, you wanna lay down some shrimp over here. Make sure the red part is showing outward, like so. And then you grab this side of the paper. Oops, I think I waited too long and now it's stuck to my board. We'll figure it out. Let's see here. Oh. Well, that's a disaster. All right, I have to start over. 
because this is not working. Okay, so I'm back. Here we go again. So I, I'm just gonna put this stuff that I had before on here and lay out my shrimp on this side of the paper. Then start rolling. Just grab this and push all of it in. If you can see what I'm doing. Then do the ends like so. And then keep rolling. Ooh, I forgot our, ri our rice noodles. Whew. Making all kinds of mistakes. All right, here we go. Roll that in like so. All right, that's the first one. The first one's always a boo-boo, but here we have the first roll. Let me put that on a plate. All right, let's try this again. Get another wrapper and do it in the water like before. Just wet it very well, but don't let it sit in there. And let's start with our lettuce. And just so I don't forget, let me put this in right now. And go in with our cilantro onion, carrot, some of this cabbage, and a piece of cucumber. And then, like I showed you before, we'll lay this out here, close to this end. All right. And let's bring it over like this. Push all of your veggies in there. Try to tuck it in as tightly as you can. Bring the ends over. And then proceed to roll your little shrimpies in there. Here we go. This one's not as aesthetically pleasing, but we'll go with that. Let's go here again and try this again. Some lettuce. Let's get our rice and noodles. And some of this. Oops, everything wants to come in here. Wait your turn. Some of these. Some of these. And some of that. And then we're gonna put our shrimp again here. All right. And let's start rolling. Let's grab our veggies, push them, push them. Do in the sides so everything gets encased and then move this way to get your shrimp in there. There you go. Let's do another one. Got our rice paper going and put that on here. Let's put a big lettuce, some of this, and some of that, some cucumber, some of this, cilantro, and some onions. Okay, and let's come in with our shrimp here. I think that's enough. 
And we'll do it just like we did before. Push these veggies in and roll, like so. Close the end. And once you have that tucked in, you just come this way to grab your shrimp. Here we go. All right, I am going to finish up with making the rest of these. I have a couple more to do, and then um, we'll do the sauce and the plating. And we're back with our finished dish. As you can see, it's beautiful, fresh, looks delicious. I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. I urge you to try this recipe because I think you're going to love it and your family is going to love it. And it's a great way to sneak vegetables into your kids' meals. See you next time.